The poem is called Wondering. How many days have we spent in wonder? Is it normal to think this way? Riding lawful to the moon and seeing unicorns dance in your bedroom. In my head, these thoughts all loom. Will these things occur one day? Or is it just our imagination taking us away? How many things are unknown? This may never be solved, but yet most answers lie ahead. Telling our stories true is one step in the right direction. Learning can be our perfection. In our own ideas, we create our own protection. How do we answer these questions? No one is quite sure. Can we eat ice cream on Mars? Or ride on two stars? Maybe even talk to goats or dragons while having orange creamsicle floats? Few things are known, but some are clearly shown, uncovering the secrets, the lies, and the truths. Did our imagination create something out of nothing? These things hang above us just out of reach, like a whale ready to breach, as the bunny flying by that we cannot reach. <coughs> How do we know what's real and what's not? I truly question, dear friend, I'll ask you again. How many details, big or small? All unicorns and dragons, everything else, are waiting for you and no one else. Is there a way to know if it is or if it's not? Is it pointless to question? Are the possibilities endless? Most things are created because people dare. It's fun to imagine what else is out there. It's not just what we create and envision. Soon we can uncover what's the roots of our mission. What do you think? And again, the mind starts to wander. All these questions between imagination and reality, it all starts to mend. How many more times can I continue to ponder? This is the end, but not really. Only until my imagination starts speaking to me again. Now we come to this question once more. Maybe it's time for you to open the door and you can imagine your reality.